Hi everyone, Candace from Green Roof Farms DIY here. Just wanted to take a little bit of time today to show you how to make these fun little wraps that are going to go around toilet paper. These are a great way to decorate your bathroom. You can put them on the counter next to the toilet or even on the back of the toilet. They're very simple in construction. You can do them on cotton or you can do them on felt. Now you can affix them in the back a couple different ways. I'm going to go ahead and unsnap this one. So what I did is I simply just put my tag in and I made a little wrap, a cotton wrap. Green Roof Farms um, does have these as an in the hoop pattern and you can buy it and it simply does it all in the machine, in your embroidery machine and all you have to do is flip it inside out and stitch that little piece closed and put your cam snaps on. So this would be if you're going to make a in the hoop cotton wrap, but you can do this with your sewing machine just the same. If you don't want to do anything with the sewing machine you can actually stitch it straight on felt be careful of the felt choice and your color you'll see that this actually has all the words on it but um, black with the dark blue doesn't look well this was a variegated thread but this is a very adorable design that is for the fourth of july theme if you want to decorate the back of your toilet now all i did is i used a little push pin on the back which actually allows it to be reusable if you want to put cam snaps on, you can. However, you'll need to stabilize the back side. But all you're doing is you're stitching right on that felt. You're using your pinking shears or another scissor um, pattern to cut it out, make it look decorative, or you can even just straight cut it with your scissors. You're simply going to wrap it around your toilet paper roll, and then you're going to push your pin in the back. And that's how you make the wrap. So what I have right now loaded is the design for Father's Day. I'm getting ready to go off to a festival and it's Father's Day this weekend. So I'm going to do the king on his throne, which is the toilet, Father's Day. So I'm going to go ahead and let this stitch out and then I'm going to show you what it looks like as I go to assemble it. All right, so the design has finished stitching out. So I'm going to go ahead and take the hoop off the machine and take it over and cut the felt down to go around the toilet paper roll. So let's go ahead and get your pinking shears or your scissors ready and I'm going to take you through the steps on how to trim your felt down so it can go around your toilet paper roll. So now I'm ready to go ahead and cut this down. I have the design stitched out on felt and I went ahead and chose felt since it can be reusable with a push pin in the back or you can install the cam snaps like I said if you reinforce your felt. But this is a really simple, easy way to cover up the toilet paper roll. So you have two choices. If you buy them already wrapped like this, you can leave the wrapping on and just go around it, or you can take the wrapping off and just go around it with your toilet paper or your, your felt toilet paper wrap. So the first thing is measuring to see kind of what width we're at. And this one's about four and a half inches. So I need to cut this down to four and a half inches. And what I do is I just kind of grab my big ruler here and I just start cutting a straight line. All right. And uh, just pull off that extra felt. So that gives it a nice little decorative bottom. And then I measure up four and a half inches to see where that's going to be. And that'll actually put me right in the design and I don't want that. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. And felt is inexpensive, so it's actually a, I think a really good option for doing these little toilet paper wraps. And you can always save this little piece for like a strap to go on a reading pocket pillow or something. If you have two of them, you can glue them together. All right, so now I'm going to cut my top piece. I'm going to get all nice and lined up. Make sure I'm straight. And I'm just running my pinking shears along this edge. It's not ruining my pinking shears and it's not ruining my um, blade. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off a little bit of this. And then I'm going to put it right here on this blue spot with no words behind. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more permanent, but you still want the felt, you can um, glue it with a fabric glue. There's a lot of craft glues out there. 
And all I do is I push a push pin in the back. You can do a push pin here and a push pin here, but this just allows somebody to be able to remove it once they're done. And you can see it's really quite cute. It's very cute. Uh, King on Father's Day is the design. And it's very simple to get these put together, especially if you're stitching it on felt. So shop.greenerfarmsdiy.com has a lot of toilet paper wrap designs, the 4x4s. So if you don't have a machine that stitches um, the in the hoop one, you can go ahead and purchase the 4x4 designs. And this is the steps that you would go through to make your very own wrap. Now my wrap I have a lot of um, extra material here, so I'm probably going to go through and just cut this down a little bit more, probably this upper piece right here. But thank you so much for supporting me as a digital design artist and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I enjoyed showing you how to make these cute little wraps with the Green Roof Farms 4x4 designs. Have a wonderful day.